Hello and welcome back to Aviation Abbey. Go where you feel the most alive. Pilots and air traffic controllers communicate by using radio telephony physiology that consists of a set of standardized words and phrases approved for radio telephony communications by ICAO in all routine aircraft situations. The communication is possible because of the common situations the pilots, the ATCs or the operations teams find themselves in because it is highly predictable. Even if misunderstandings occur, it is rather easily dealt with because the parties know how the other party will respond because the situation is highly predictable. Failure in communication is less likely to occur if either party stick to prescribed rules and regulations for communication on RT. So let's get started and understand what are the good techniques to communicate on RT and what are the physiologies used for RT communications. Let us start with good transmitting techniques. Before transmitting, listen out on the frequency to be used to ensure that there will be no interference with a transmission from another station. Basically, you have to ensure that you do not transmit when there is already a transmission going on on a particular frequency. While operating the RT, you should be familiar with good RT operating techniques. You should try to use a normal conversational tone and speak clearly and distinctly. You should try to use a rate of speech that is approximately 100 words per minute. Whenever it is perceived that the receiver will note down the message, the rate of speech may be reduced slightly. One should try to maintain a speaking volume at a constant level. A slight pause before and after numbers will make it easier for the receiver to understand the message. One must avoid using hesitation sounds like er. Uh, um, while transmitting on the RT. The best technique to transmit is firstly depress the transmitting switch which is the PTT or the press to talk button fully before you start speaking and the button must not be released until the complete message is transmitted. This will ensure that the entire message is clearly transmitted. A potentially dangerous and irritating situation in radio telephony is a stuck microphone button. Operators should always ensure that the button is released after a transmission and the microphone is placed in an appropriate location so as to ensure that the switch is not pressed by mistake. In order to avoid confusion in aviation, instead of transmitting alphabets, ICAO phonetics of those alphabets are used because transmitting C and D or MN together may be confusing to the receiver whether the transmitter has transmitted C or D or M or N because the situation sometimes becomes stressful and any confusion can lead to a disaster. So there are ICAO phonetics in place. So the phonetics of alphabet goes as Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, Zulu. This is how alphabets in aviation is transmitted. There is also phonetic pronunciations for numbers in place, like, like for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Sometimes while transmitting numbers, you may encounter point or decimal. How are they transmitted? While you are transmitting a particular frequency, let's say 1 to 0 0.375. In that case, it will be spelled on RT as 1 to 0 decimal 375. If the frequency is 118.005, it is spelled as 118 decimal 005. Suppose you are spelling 1.2 MAC, then on RT it is spelled as MAC 1.2. As an exception to transmitting numbers separately, the numbers involved in transmission of altitude, cloud height, visibility and RVR can be transmitted together. Let's say the altitude of an aircraft is 700 feet. In that case, the altitude may be transmitted as 700. Or let's say it is 2800 feet. In that case, again, it can be transmitted as 2800. 
The same is the case for cloud high visibility and RVR. Now let us look at some of the standard words and phrases that are used on RT in aviation. The first phrase is acknowledge. This is used when the transmitting station asks the receiving station to acknowledge or confirm that they have received a particular message and understood it. The next phrase is approve, which means permission for a proposed action is granted. Suppose a particular aircraft requests for engine ground run. In that case, the ATC can approve the requested action. The next phrase is break, which is used to indicate separations between two parts of a message that is being transmitted and which are not linked to each other. The phrase break break is used when there is message that is being transmitted to two different stations in a very busy environment when it is not possible to transmit the messages separately. The next phrase is cancel. That means that annul the previously transmitted clearance. The next phrase is check. That is examine a system or procedure. This can be used to give a time check to a particular receiving station. The next phrase is cleared, which means authorized to proceed under the conditions specified. This is generally given by ATC to the pilot when they clear an aircraft to take off or land by transmitting that clear to land or clear to take off. The next commonly used phrase is confirm, which means I request verification of a clearance, instruction, action or information. For example, Suppose there is a follow me that is holding at the holding point to a particular runway and the ATC wants to confirm whether the follow me is clear of the runway or not. In that case, the ATC will transmit follow me tar confirm clear of the runway and in that case, if the follow me is clear of the runway, the follow me must respond tar follow me clear of runway or the short of version being affirm. The next phrase is contact which means establish communication with. This is used mostly on handover where the ATC wants the aircraft to switch over from a particular frequency to another. The next phrase is correct, which is used to confirm that the transmission being made is accurate or true. The next phrase is correction. This is used when there is an error being made and it has to be corrected. For example, the ATC transmits contact 121.9 but the actual frequency that the aircraft is to contact is 121.8 in that case after transmitting contact 121.9 correction 121.8 is to be made the next phrase is disregard which is used to indicate ignore the transmission that is already made the clearance that is already given the next phrase is go ahead this is used to indicate that you may go ahead or proceed with your message. This phrase should generally be avoided because there is a possibility that exists of misunderstanding go ahead as an authorization for an aircraft to proceed. The next phrase used is how do you read that is used to confirm the readability of transmission. We will understand this phrase in detail in the coming slides. The next phrase used is maintain which means continue in accordance with the conditions specified or in its literal sense. For example, the ATC transmits maintain VFR. In that case, the aircraft receiving this message has to maintain visual flight rules. The next phrase is monitor. This is generally used when the transmitting station wants the receiving station to maintain listening watch at a particular frequency. The phrase negative is used when the transmission means unknown or permission is not granted or the transmission being made is not correct or not applicable. The phrase read back is used when the message being sent is to be read back in order to ensure correctness of the message. The phrase re-cleared is used when a change has been made in the last transmission that is made, a new clearance has been issued which supersedes the previous clearance or part thereof. The next phrase is report which means pass me the following information. Sometimes the ATC may transmit vacate runway via taxiway eco report vacated. It means that the ATC wants the pilot to pass the information of vacation of the runway. The next phrase is request, which is used when the transmitting station wants to obtain a particular information from the receiving station. The next commonly used phrase is Roger 
which means I have received your last transmission and under no case it can be used as a reply that requires a read back or a direct answer like a form or negative. The next phrase is see again where the transmitting station wants the receiving station to repeat a particular part of the message or the entire message. The phrase speak slower is used to indicate that the transmitting station wants the receiving station to reduce the rate of speech. The phrase standby is used to indicate or mean that wait, I will call you back. The caller should normally re-establish contact if, in case the delay is lengthy and standby is not an approval or denial. The next phrase is unable which is used to mean that one is unable to comply with the instructions or the request being made. The next phrase is will co which is abbreviated for will comply which means that I have understood your message and will comply with it. The next phrase is word twice. It is used in situations when communication is difficult and every word or group of word is requested twice from the transmitting station. Now that we have understood the standard phrases used on RT, let us understand the radio test procedures and understand the readability scale. In order to understand how clear a transmission is on the RT, the clarity or readability of the RT transmission is divided on a scale of 1 to 5 which is a readability scale. The scale 1 indicates that the transmission is unreadable, 2 being readable now and then. 3 being readable but with difficulty, 4 being readable and 5 being perfectly readable. When a particular station requests for radio check, one may transmit the identification of the aeronautical station being called followed by the identification of the station calling and the word radio check and followed by the frequency that is being checked. So this may sound like, suppose the follow me vehicle is requesting a radio check from the tar, the transmission sounds like tar follow me, how do you read or radio check and the receiving station that is the ATC will transmit follow me tar read you 5 or follow me tar read you 3 based on the readability scale of transmission. All this being understood, how is communication on ground being established? This is established with the initial call which involves the call sign of the station being called followed by the call sign of the station calling. The contact is established when the called station replies with full call sign of the station calling followed by the station being called. Further, the station calling can communicate the message. This might seem a little confusing. Let us understand all this with few easy examples. Being from the airside operations team, I would like to walk you down through the most common communications between TAR and follow me. First case when the follow me is trying to establish communication with the TAR. In that case, the first transmission is TAR follow me. That is the call sign of the station being called followed by the call sign of the station who is calling. And the TAR replies follow me TAR which is the call sign of the station who is calling followed by the call sign of the station being called. Now the follow me goes ahead with its message which is TAR follow me. Holding point echo request permission to enter runway 09R for inspection. In order to carry out a runway inspection, a typical request for permission of runway inspection involves reporting of current position followed by a request for carrying out runway inspection. So here the follow me responds as tar follow me holding point echo which means the follow me is holding at holding point echo. Further the request goes request permission to enter runway 09R for inspection. To this, the TAR responds, follow me TAR via holding point echo, enter runway 09R, report vacated. It means that the TAR has permitted the follow me to enter runway via holding point echo and carry out runway inspection. And also the tower wants the follow me to report when the follow me has vacated the runway. So, after the follow me has carried out runway inspection. Now, since this instruction is safety critical and it involves entry and exit from a runway, the follow me must repeat the instruction. So the follow me says via holding point echo, enter runway 09R, will go follow me, which is the call sign of the station that is transmitting, which can be used at the end 
once the communication has been established between the transmitting station and the receiving station. Let us look at another example of communication between ATC and follow me. Let us consider the situation where ATC has observed flock of birds on taxiway Foxtrot and wants the follow me to clear the birds. In that case, in order to establish communication with the follow me, the tar says, follow me tar, the follow me responds, tar follow me, the tar says, large flock of birds observed on taxiway Foxtrot, clear the birds report clear, which means the tar is asking the follow me that you may clear the words and report when you are clear of the taxi. To this, the follow me can respond will go. And after clearing the flock of words, the follow me responds, tar follow me, words clear of taxiway foxtrot, taxiway foxtrot vacated or clear of taxiway foxtrot. This is how a typical conversation between ATC and follow me looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video on radio telephony procedures by Aviation Abbey. Do like, share and subscribe because your support is our motivation. You can follow us on LinkedIn. The link of our profiles will be given in the description. So this is Anvesha Pal signing off.